Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're deciding whether or not the Against the Hive campaign will be successful or not. It's Operation Spider Valley. Uh, the 225 supplies don't mean anything for us. The more important problem is the plethora of 51 enemies. We got everything in here. Like uh, mm, a few mechanical units, Codex Prime, Spectre. We got a sector pot. We got uh, heavy max elite troopers. Those are not uh, mechanical drones, sectors, mutants, everything. What we don't have is code uh, codices, only an elite codex. So the idea with uh, the school jack, we'll need to wait until a later time. Hopbite, Namri, Lyrical, Wrong Planet, Taurus, and Zukuger Prime Team. Best weapons that we do have available at this point. Uh, we'll need to do the undoable, beat the unbeatable, move the unmovable object, get through 51 enemies with just ballistic weapons, no armor upgrades. So this will really be a testament of using the least possible amount of uh, consumables in all of the fights. Here we go, guys. Lord have mercy, we landed. Is in range. Move to investigate. Unfortunately, not a double agent or anything. Uh, that would have been too good, getting the seventh person. Well, it is what it is. Let's calmly and productively dismantle this map. Lyrical moves up finds nothing okay well good 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 um i would like our sniper to go to here wrong planet taurus stands next to them hogbite goes down as well so Huger and we got Namri. Well, the name of the game here is don't use too many cooldowns. Oh, well, cooldowns, yes, but not too many other uh, consumables at the beginning. 51. That does not include uh, the turrets. Those very much come on top. And there's a good old Codex Prime. Okay. Let's see what the aliens are going to do. Definitely a lot of uh, action kind of behind the scenes. 51 enemies are a lot. So <coughs> the idea would be get one pack at a time in a perfect uh, world eliminate them with all of the cooldowns that we need but try to not use too many consumables Eric moves up Have found anything Oh, the brace weapon allows us to get the super heavy turret. Interesting. Okay. Wait, what, 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 what? I just saw something as the camera zooms out. Okay, well, I saw something right here. So one pack must be somewhere here. Oh, okay. Well, that explains it. Okay, do not need to deal with those guys. Could theoretically charge in, but I don't like the odds of just triggering multiple packs so instead we're keeping it calm calm and collected like I mentioned we know there is a pack down there okay well I am 
Lots of Overwatch. Um, Zukuga moves up here as well. Okay, let's see what that pack actually is going to do. Oh, they are normal codices. Too bad. I am wondering if we should use our frost grenade here. I think we would never get a better frost grenade off. It will cost us very limited resources, but we would be able to get that entire pack down. Relatively speaking, easily. And none of them are immune to frost. Ah, I think that's the right call. Rapid deployment. Just getting them uh, down. Such a good frost grenade. Okay, I just saw a sector pot uh, foot there. So, gotta be really careful that this is not escalating. Yeah, I very much hear the sector pot. Very much. Good. That's a hit against everyone. <clears throat> a good chance for grazing shots. Suppression isn't as important as hopefully a couple of grazing shots that would trigger. Ah, well, one grazing shot, two. No, one grazing shot. I can't hear the sector pod. I can very much hear the sector pod. Holy, this is tense. Moving over. Emery is in a good position. Shredding the Archon Sentinel. I, I guess that'll be okay. Moving over here. Uh, let's dual strike the Prime. That's a good idea. Almost down. Look at that, this is where they are standing. Careful Hogbite, super careful. Ah, uh, damn it. Oh, this is maybe triggering.
Okay, well, it is what it is. If we trigger, then I need to think what we are going to do. Good. Uh, twelve to fourteen. Likely, well, sixty-five percent chance of a crit. So I shouldn't say likely not going to kill him. Well, it's the only two remaining, right? So, might as well try our best. I have an idea. Oh, that's also 7 to 9. Well, that's a lot of damage. Might be a 50-50 kill. Yep, not bad. And I don't want to charge in and trigger something, so instead we're just vaulting because I know I get uh, the points back. Could have been... Could have been harder as a hit, but it's okay. Good. Uh, the only consumable that we have used so far was our frost grenade. And that was just an abnormally good frost grenade. Essentially allowed us to to kill this entire pack for free. We know there is a sector port near uh, us, so gotta be a bit careful not to overdo it. But generally speaking, we're okay. Shred this guy. Hit this guy. got a nice little parry there. I think Lyrical with the reload and kill is good. Overwatch here. Reload Overwatch and Overwatch. Good time to get our cooldowns back and then we're slowly going to advance.
Wow, so much background movement. Good, so we're five down and there are plenty more to go. Luckily our sniper has a bit extended vision, so we can start moving over here again. repositioning ourselves Not a problem. good and we got three frontliners <coughs> and three backliners so it's good setup I uh, is fine I like it Okay, let's wait a few rounds before we're before we're uh, able to engage further. This is tense. I don't want to trigger too early because everything it it's kind of a uh, kind of a battle of resources. If I manage my resources well, this entire run he uh, here could even be fun. Dare I say? But it most certainly is a, is not going to be fun if we're mismanaging our resources. Okay, that's a uh, advent captain. Next up, we're trying to get that building here under our control with the high ground here we have a really good overview um, of uh, the street and the street is typically kind of where most of uh, the uh, patrols are going to move through this might trigger yeah, it is. Well, surprise, surprise. Uh, now we do have a problem. This is the... This is the or one of the sector port packs, so naturally it's going to be a bit tougher. All right, starting with a frag out. Sector port and heavy mech are going to be our main targets. As a starter. Okay, well, this is going to be tough, tougher than expected. Let's get this mech down first, come on. Nice hit, lovely hit. To use the throwing axe, I think we should wait with that. 
Still got a couple of packs to go and we have we need to use our cooldowns wisely. Dual shots are helpful. Okay, well that could be a kill. I like it. Come on. Nice. That's one down. The trooper is two down. <laughs> Guardian is a problem. Purifier will not be able to do anything from his position. This guy will likely just use his um, shield. So. Bite is moving up. There is a trooper. I like that one. No bueno. Look, the trooper couldn't, can't do anything, so. Might as well just deal some damage here. And Hogbite hides up uh, stairs, which is good. For us in the meantime, Taurus moves into a really full cover. And let's uh, just suppress. Technical analysis means only one action for each of them. The armor. Purifier decides to move. To Not sure how they could see us. We were out of line of sight. But okay, Hogbite is Hogbite, so... Okay, okie dokie, I like what I'm seeing. Moves up, time to be mean to the enemies. Reload. Okay, we're going to deal with that in a second. Full cover. That's a good one. And that is difficult. How much defense? Holy. Alright, in that case, let's start to move uh, to set this guy up. Time to hit the mech. Directly destroy it because we're ignoring shields.
Good, Taurus moves up. Half cover isn't great, but it's okay. Yeah, I didn't get, it. Didn't get the purifier, okay. Good. Hogbite is going in, and with Perry we should absolutely be fine. There we go. Perry here. Ah, it doesn't matter. The Bladestorm will kill him, and the trooper Decides to hunker down. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, interesting engagement. We have used some cooldowns, but not too many. And overall, not a lot of consumables used either. Which is good. That on the other hand sucks a bit. Didn't want to deal with a Shoggoth. somehow reach him oh yeah from up here bit of an extravagant no we can't oh no shredding the shoggoth up what, what's over there? Taurus moves up good damage I like it and oh, hope it kills him Perry. Okay, well, well, well. Time for a regrouping, getting the ghost, uh, Templar ghost up. And uh, refocus. Have they spotted us? No. No. Repositioning on us. Dang it. Uh, okay. I had a bit of technical issues. Our game isn't running that stable. Potentially doesn't like uh, how many enemies have uh, have spawned here. So, how do we want to deal with these guys is a good question. And what do we want Nemri to do about them? We could just stand back and try to enjoy the show a bit more. Let's test the following. Hop oh, right. Uses ghost. The 
That'll give us vision. And the ghost can tank for uh, for a turn. All right, so up here, Zukuger could prepare the officer. The other option is creating this nice little kill zone and I think we're going to do exactly that. Memory could stand over here. Again, the question is, should we just use a grenade or is that overdoing it? Seems doable. Um. If we position ourselves back here, that would actually make for really good uh, defensive cover. Now, question of the day is, are we or are we not going to use a grenade? Free reload. Yeah, I think that's the right call. here. Looks good. We're down to one grenade. Still quite a few enemies though. Time to injure the officer. Eight hit points. Hmm. Well, that's going to be a kill. Just one charge of the ghost. Can still parry. Good, this guy goes down. Did you see that one? Move over here and get the sharpshooter. Damn it! If, uh, if we were out of ammo, should have checked that beforehand. Not optimal. Yeah, I think we can tank. This guy here will take. Uh, at least one uh, blade storm. The others I'm not yet so sure about. It's all a matter of not wasting too many resources. Okay. 
Okay, well... Come on, reflected right into his face. Very nice. That could even be a kill with uh, um, with Blade Storm. Oh no, lightning reflexes. Okay, sharpshooter apparently benefits from them as well. Okay, let's shred the mech. We are moving in with Hawkbite. There we go, good job. Time to teach the mech a lesson. And then kill it. Which should reset. And in order to be uh, even more impressed, let's hit the sharpshooter. Running and gunning into full cover. I was hoping we could get the cover off. It's a bit wasteful because it uses our second charge. This guy will die. Oh, but uh, we'll kill him. Which leaves only the trooper. And the trooper has moved back, which is atypical. Might be a shock of. A solid miss right there. Another miss, okay. Oh, but needs a bit more focus. I don't know if we should move in. I don't think so. Instead, let's stay back here in our walking mimic beacon. Needs to get a heal. Easy now, soldier. I, I guess that'll be okay. Good, Taurus. Overwatches. Reload overwatch here. No problem, boss. Full cover. Oh, let's suppress this guy. Hunkers down. Okay, well, that's interesting. Good to go. 
We'll get you anyways. I called it Shogoth. Stupid. Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. Templar Ghost is moving up. And another Overwatch. Alright. Let this guy move in. back apparently he is okay well that was weird Good. Uh, I would like us to be here. And Hopfight is also moving over. Taking that bridge. solid cover position here won't want to change anything so far we've been doing well On my way. let's make sure that we got the theoretical potential to go and get the flanks Uh, Hogby actually moves to here that's so he can run straight in. Reload Overwatch for almost everyone here. Good, and we're just trying to get our cooldowns back at this point. Only one more grenade, that's <clears throat> a bit light. Okay, we got most of the cooldowns, right? Right, yeah, we got almost all of them, actually. Moving up, does that trigger? It does. Wow, two packs? Oh. Okay, well, this is going to be interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Easy grenade here to get all of them down. But we would be staying in half cover. I'm wondering if it's not just simpler to hunker down and weather the, uh, weather the storm.
We definitely need some extra actions this time. Look, we could move all the way to over here and basically do a firm overwatch of everything, kind of an intervention. The other option is zone suppression. We have enough ammunition, so let's do that. Could just stay back, but the problem with staying back is they will all go for overwatch and I don't want that. Okay, that will disorient them, but also deal some damage. I give you strength. Setting up the heavy mech. Good, and now it's collection time. No, not good enough. We're just sticking with 100% shots here. Trooper might be an option, but I like the striker as a kill. <coughs> we'll come to that in a second. Lancer. Good hit. Fantastic hit. stand too close to the others. Memory moves up. And we can start shredding the mech. That's not a bad idea. Okay. Oh wow, the demo. Yeah, I don't want to deal with them. Slightly back. Ignore the Spectre Prime. afraid for a second that we might trigger a third pack but I think we've triggered all there is to trigger outside might be somewhere inside never mind yep we just triggered the third pack Yep, 
free hit like that seven to eight will be nicely killing this trooper and I would like us to let the Templar Ghost tank and the actual Templar moves over here Good hit. Gotta deal with that elite shield bearer. All of these guys will not be able to do anything due to tactical analysis. good now that's a problem our soldiers are suffering out there we'll need to give them some time to recover when we get back we are doing overall fine could be better could be worse I mean, we could move in. Yeah, free reload. The half cover thing is a bit of an issue. I, I believe we might want to just fall back and let them come. Good. Reload, kill this guy, use a mimic beacon. Alright, Zukuger moves back. Um, advanced teamwork, I think fighting three packs, it's fair to now use most of our consumer boats.
can't kill either of them. Good, so this guy goes down. We're continuing to have that flanking position over here with nice little full cover. Softening up the lancers because they typically cause the biggest problem. High ground, I think we're positioned okay. Overwatch here. And let's position ourselves in half cover so that the ghost <clears throat> always is shot at first. Good. And now they effectively need to come forward. Good hit. Couple of fabulous hits, I like them. <clears throat> Good, there is a Medi drone. Interesting. Depression doesn't really do a lot uh, for them. This here would be a huge opener. I think it's worth the last grenade. These fine gentlemen would both likely die. Uh, let's give Nemri an act extra action before Hogbite. Nemri free reloads. Okay, cool, no problem. Before Hogbite sends these two fine gentlemen to hell. We'll come, come to that in a second. This will likely be a kill. Into reload. Better position for another overwatch. Little hit. 
and breaching maneuver gives us time to move even further away very good Hogbite definitely is an option to stand over here so that he could be shot he does have all of the options to dodge and move away Now we don't want to suppress uh, this guy Triple overwatch and that's not an optimal position. I much rather like to move over here. Ghost can still tank. And there we go. Let them use the choke point. Oh no, come on. Good hit. Oh, fantastic damage. Well, luckily Hogbite is immune to those shenanigans. That's not. That's pretty helpful because I think the primes uh, creations will last. <coughs> Easy kill with a Mac. Easy kill with the officer. Hit the armor. Time to win round. Time to get that spectre down. Fortunately, takes another horror. Good, but that should kill the spectre now. Uh, almost. Might trigger an overwatch, but we have lightning reflexes. Very good. Nemri is back in action. Could move in, but that would cost us
I think what we're doing instead is we're waiting here. Uh, maybe need need to grab a heal real quick. You're gonna be fine. I don't want to risk the ghost. Not yet. Oh, quite. Stays just out of sight, so that that guy, uh, that that enemy needs to move, and we do have a couple of overwatches. Countered by a couple of overwatches from their side. Okay, stand still. I like it. But your shields are expiring. We're still okay. This will trigger Overwatch, but as you know by now, Lightning Reflexes for the win. Running and gunning into a flanking. We need this in order to get our breaching protocol and get out of here, but currently we're still scouting. As such, reload into almost killing the officer. into reload overwatch into overwatch into a solid overwatch here we're moving overwatch and you know what the ghost can stay there for now Okay, well, if they want to play that game, I'm all up for it. Time for the shield bearer to accept the consequences and just take damage. Moving slightly back. Overwatch. 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 Reload and good old Overwatch. Okay, that's a hard fought um, bridge take over. It's almost like war. Well, luckily no one uh, stayed next uh, to that car. Can our sniper take some down? Oh yeah. Hilarious, if you think about that we have the longer range. No one will slip past. You hit the plate. 
slowly moving over here with Lyrico. Enemies seem to be mostly taken out. Ah, doesn't matter, even if we miss. We're good. Memory stays over here. The ghost is going to tank, just in case someone shoots us, uh, at us. And that's it. Fantastic. one kill and that's the second one which brings us to another stage where we again need to just overwatch for now One last enemy is uh, there. And they either come in or run away. Good. They decide to be a bit uh, of a pain in the rear. Well, that's fine by me. Go ahead and uh, try your best. We do have a sniper who can definitely hit that far. If you say so. And we're slowly but surely moving up. Should have reloaded the sniper, but yeah, there he is. And that was very likely his last action. Wait, wait, wait. Someone overwatched? He? Did he overwatch? Okay, cool. Well, there are two of them. Let's start hitting the first one. Almost got him down. We're going to do a reload into kill. And then there is the striker left over. Those are the guys with the close range shotgun overwatch. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going. What, what's over there? We most certainly have had uh, three packs at once. Doesn't get much harder than that. Ooh. I lost count. I think we're at 35 enemies. But we're out of explosives, which is a bit of a problem. All right, a little bit of a technical problem yet again. I needed to replay that entire fight and yeah, I could uh, do it similar, but not quite like that. So a couple of differences here. Uh, we have one more charge of the medkit, so I will only use two if needed. 
I think we have two more hit points than we norm uh, than we had before. That's the closest I can get to it to preserve uh, the integrity of the run. I'm not happy of, uh, about the stability. Uh, as always, if you have 50 plus enemies in a mission, it starts becoming more and more difficult. It's just a matter of, not even mods, it is a matter of a amount of enemies that you're dealing with. Good, we're beginning to move up. We have mostly cleared the way. Which means we're now going for the high ground on the right hand side. Okay. Uh, there must be more. I think we're at 35-ish or 51, so there's most certainly more. Moving up. Sniper moves up. Our front line moves to there. And Emery takes full cover. Could move up next round, but mainly the full cover is what I was looking for. Overwatch. Okay. It sounds like these guys are behind the wall. Question of the day. Can we move in and really ruin their day? It sounds as if they are incredibly close to the actual entrance. I think this is not bad over here. I could uh, move to here or here. Both attractive locations. Okay. Uh, that looks like they are on the rooftop, actually. That very much looks like they are on the rooftop. Um, yeah, well, in that case... In that case, let's get a bit closer. I have I had used one of those advanced teamwork so I'll waste them now just so that we do have the same outcome and I think I used the one for hogbite as well so might as well just use that sucks wasting them like that but I want to make sure that it is as close as possible to the original thing it's always important for me to preserve the same amount of challenge that's why we're doing those runs in the first place.
Okay, let's double check if there is indeed someone upstairs. Interesting. Partially upstairs, partially downstairs. Never had that yet so far. Hogbite moves up. <coughs> and decides that that assault here needs a smacking. up and the assault of course dodges well there you are running and gunning all the way over to here Good. Um, let's start with getting that mech down. Uh, close. Not good. No, that was not good. True. Horus gets uh, him down. Start hitting the mech. Start hitting it even further. Should have gotten Namri first because she could have made sure that everything just hit so much harder. But it's okay, we're still going to kill them with the ghost. <laughs> okay, maybe the ghost is dead. Got a couple of mutants there. Hilarious. Hogbite does what Hogbite can do best. A bit of melee combat in and out. Well, that was cute. Minimum damage and dodge. Stupid disorientation. Okay, I did not force them to miss. Suppression? No, actually hit. But a nice little dodge. 
Oh, ouch, that's going to hurt. Yeah. Cool. Well, we survived that against all odds. Damn it, the Templar Ghost fell down. Well, listen, I mean, Hogbite could move in. The question is, should he move in? And the answer is likely, no thank you. Which is going to retreat a bit. It's never a great situation to be disoriented and then needing to fight an uphill battle. But the Prime is disoriented. Continuing with high, uh, with high ground and kill that guy. Did you see that one? Severely injure the mutant. Okay, looks like a charm. This looks like a good position, but it is open to the entire indoor, which I don't like. What I will say, though, is, uh, we can't de uh, deploy mines. It's more important now. To basically move back and take solid cover instead of uh, standing there <clears throat> they can come into us and we are we're more than ready to uh, pick them up yeah good uh, good try unfortunately my dude i oh, got a mind shield Good, one down. Reload into kill. This might trigger some overwatch. But that's exactly what I wanted. Insta kill against the sector. range
Don't want to stand in the open. We're just going to go back. Overwatch here. Big fat overwatch here. And Namri, just in case someone charges up here, places a little surprise gift for them. And Overwatch. Nice, good hit. Solid suppression. Time for us to prep this guy, then reload into kill for another reset. This might trigger a couple of overwatches. Time to get in. Another elite specter, okay, cool. That sergeant isn't doing anything. Matter of fact, we could just kill him. A little bit forward, in, uh, a little bit backwards into cover. No, All right, last teamwork. into prepping that elite uh, spectre there. Almost got him. Almost. Memory overwatches and oh cool, we got uh, a nice free line of sight. Overwatch here. Hogbite does not need to fear a purifier at all. Nothing that he can do would uh, be a problem for Hogbite. Fire moves up, okay. To do something about that armor. Untouchable, baby. Unflipping touchable. Aggressively moves in. Zoo Cougar is on the hunt here. 
On the prowlers, they say. Reload. Oh, can't hit him. Okay, good. Well, that's good to know. Very nice. Him being stunned also means we can easily continue hitting him. We'll take one overboard shot. Okay, well, it is what it is. As a tank, you gotta be able to take the pain. Hey baby, we're we're doing this. We're getting there. Absolutely. Closer and closer. Shot wide. No problem, boss. Wrong planet moves up. And we're golden. I think there was still a viper somewhere, but I might be completely wrong. Lightning reflexes. Yeah, how does that steel taste? And Hawkbite is not joking around. Good. Some more parry. We're moving in. Got him down. Reload, kill. Finally. All right, wrong planet. Takes a little bit of cover here, and I think we we should be fine. There's definitely still something out here. But we can regroup and we should be okay for now. The lyrical will carry. Just have a feeling that there is someone back there. Okay, just not triggering anything right now. We can do that next turn. Let's just open the door and see if I was right. Nothing, okay, okay, well, good. <coughs> Hawkbite is the first one to scout ahead. One, two, three, and Tsukuga. And with that, next turn <coughs> is going to be the good old Move to the evac zone. Hmm. 
Alright, so I am confident, no, no, not Overwatch, I'm confident that this run in general can be done. Whether or not I will be able to pull off another 51 uh, mission and actually get to Waterworld, I am not sure about that. Small mistakes in this run can, could be devastating. Good, we're just moving out. moves over and yeah we're just sprinting that might be the last pack that we're fighting the animation revealed the original amount of enemies which was two but yeah, not in this campaign. Here we're fighting like six. Lots and lots of healing drones. <coughs> Good. Let's go, buddy. One drone down. Like it. Good, Lyrical puts the suit down just for a second. Moves slightly to the side. Then hits the drone. Hit into hit uh, one hit point left of course that's not a problem we have a backup plan uh, the backup plan just effed itself Perfect. Move up. And what is the priest going to do? First, he takes a lot of damage. Mind control. Stasis. Sucks. Anyways, I need to do a pause here. Got another appointment coming. We're pulled into stasis, which in itself wouldn't be a problem. 
Let's first of all position ourselves here. Hmm. Good, Taurus moves up. Yeah, and apparently I haven't selected the right uh, field. I wanted him to pick up the suit. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. Reload, Overwatch. Okay. Yeah, my control is not really going to work out in your favor, dude. There we go. That seals the deal. And it appears as if we're getting out of here, alive. Well and alive. I can try. Carrying and let's sure. move out here. Seems doable. Okay, apparently there's still an alien somewhere. We don't need extra XP, we're already good, so no point in trying to farm that last uh, set of reinforcements. We're good. It took a while, and wow, 61 enemies overall. More than I would have expected. I was sort of calculating in the 50s, but yeah, there were reinforcements and maybe the towers that we did not have on the radar. What a hardcore mission. But if this one was possible, so is the other one, which means if we play our cards right, we might be able to get to Waterworld. can only hardly imagine that Waterworld with around a hundred enemies will, um, will then be even more difficult. Look at that, 230, 100, 115, 125, like everybody here is a machine. on all our operations commander cool for your orders well there we go there can be no question that the aliens work has suffered a substantial oh no oh no look at that enemy UFO flies around the aliens have a UFO hunting for our position we need to be careful about where we pick our flight path Avenger plotting new course how did that come about? The results of our breakthrough were quite fascinating. Cool. Uh, well, we still got an instant berserk autopsy. Typical muton wasn't aggressive enough. This hulking beast seems dangerous even in death. We could get some more intel, which I think would be helpful. The rest we don't want to do anyways. I agree. That is an important task. The suit, on the other hand, could be uh, could be uh, could be researched right afterwards, so that's fine. Now that the elders are apparently suffering at the hands of some terminal. Okay, okay. Well, couple of uh, 
extra missions. Where we really want to go is we really want to go to here. Making contact. Volunteering army would be nice, but tactical analysis is we can't lose that either. So what are we dealing with? Recover. Un, uh, hidden event. That's a problem. The hidden event in itself is a problem. That looks doable. This here looks like a mission with a lot of psionics. Psionic storm. Nope. No thank you. Good, and this one here, neutralize field commander. Hmm. I don't know, it, it almost looks like this here is the best choice out of the three selections. Good, in terms of just general geoscape, this here would be our next big mission. They just ramped it up to 69 enemies just to make it a little bit more difficult that's the baseline without reinforcements or anything else oh wow and lots of chrysalids gosh this maybe i retract my statement i mean apparently we had the easier uh, mission who knows, 70 is already, that, that's pushing it, guys. So yeah, we need a few more days just to get everything up and running. And I know I had a great mission with Dodge. One of them was a good mission. Maybe that one here. Something had Dodge in it. And I know that I have uh, held back with it. Maybe Lyrical can, uh, can get it. Well, isn't looking too good. We have a lot of uh, just out of order personal, which means the next mission might take a few of the majors here and a few of the captains and try to hastily slap together a team that can do the uh, the mission. We're going to see about that. Anyways, I'm quite happy uh, that the main mission is over. And yeah, we're preparing for th uh, uh, South um, America as that will be the next the big uh, thing. Getting the portal uh, freed up and maybe even killing a codex uh, as part of it so that we can get the uh, avatar body right away. That would complete all of the three here. Use the school check, complete the stasis suit project and do the mission. Can do all three in one. Which means afterwards it's just shadow chamber research and then we're on the quote unquote uh, finish line which will be interesting well if if we could pull it off uh, actually i mean not seeing a, a whole lot that we could do in order to Im improve our situation just don't want to get shut down by the ufo so the moment that we're ready for that big mission uh, with the A-team, which will take a few more days, but the moment that we're ready there, I think we can, uh, we should go. Then uh, that team uh, mm, uh, would do the mission, and then it's around two weeks, 20 days maybe, until we're completely done uh, with the research. And then it would be water world. So that's the plan. Let's see if I can execute on it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed what you've seen, uh, leave a like and a comment down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.